when I switched to pro mileage, in my case, I got 46, 47 percent of savings oh, for that time. Yeah. Pro mileage was the only one that gave me 5,000 extra value to cover, yet still cheaper, a lot less. A lot Turn up! Hi guys, so I am now at the official configurator page of Aston Martin, the international configurator page. This is a new one that they, they have just launched replacing the previous one and it incorporates some new updates to their model lineup as well. So like the DBX here, for example, uh, now you get the, the option of selecting 23 inch wheels. Previously, the DBX comes standard with only 22 inch wheels. You can choose various designs, but only in 22 inches. Now, you can upsize it to 23 inches. Uh, you also have the option of taking the Sports Plus seats, and also you can spec in wireless charging as an option. Okay, now you go to the, the, uh, the other model in the lineup, there's the DB11, which in which case the V8 model gets a power bump to 535 horsepower that raises its top speed to 309 kilometers per hour and you also have the option of getting it with sports plus seats the v12 model drops the amr designation from its name so now it's just called the db11 v12 uh, then the dbs also drops the superleggera name and you now have the option of specking it with 21 inch wheels. Previously, the options end at uh, 20 inches. The Vantage similarly now also gets the option of 21 inch wheels. So all these uh, come with, are part, all these changes are part of Aston Martin's 2022 model year updates. So, um, well, in that case, I'm going to jump into this and I'm going to try and spec my own Aston Martin and the model that I have chosen is the DBS and I'm going to go a bit wild about it this time. I'm going to try and spec a DBS Volante, alright? So, uh, this is the default, this is the default uh, configuration. If you see a white car, platinum white paint with a black soft top. So uh, here, right, you come into this, you can see that you start by selecting your color and they've grouped, there's a wide selection of colors and they have grouped it, right? You have blacks and grays. Uh, you can choose purples and blues. They have greens, have reds, uh, bronzes and oranges, silvers and white. So the basically it's, it's almost like the sky is the limit. Um, Okay, so I remember when I, I remember seeing the DBS the first time it was in red and I thought it looked absolutely stunning. So I think I, the first colors I'm going to look at would be red. This is Scorpus Red. A very deep shade of red, I would say. Or there is Hyper Red, which is slightly, uh, it's, it's a slightly brighter one and I think I'll go with this. This color appeals to me. So I'll go with Hyper Red. And, all, and before I proceed, you can also, uh, you can also choose to, to view the car in, in different environments. So right now, this is a, a hillside environment. Let's see what are the options. You can choose to view it in a studio, right? A black, black background. But I think I'll, and this is where you see the color a bit more clearly. But I think for, for what you call it, for um, for realism sake, I'm gonna go stick with the exterior view. All right, and uh, you can also choose to view the car in night lighting. Okay, this is where you see also with the lights switched on. All right, and uh, okay, but I'm gonna switch back to day view, and also you can, in the case of the volante here, you can choose to drop the top. So now I'm, now I'm fixed on my color. I'm going to go to the exterior packages and you can select your preferred lower body or upper body package. So the lower body package, you can choose to have it either in gloss, black, 
tinted 2x2 two two twill carbon fiber lower body package or the other option is just carbon fiber lower body package so um so if it's un without the black tin you get the you get to see the carbon fiber in its natural color but either way uh the carbon fiber finish is there whether you like it or not so i'm going to choose choose it with gloss black tinting all right and uh the upper body package all right you can there's the two point uh, two by two gloss carbon fiber package you can choose body colored upper package which means the basically the uh the a pillar as well as the side mirror follows car uh, body color or you can have it in gloss black which would be my selection all right in the case of the volante here you can specify the roof so the the standard is is the black convertible hood but uh your other options would be red but since the car is already in red i like to choose a, a bit of a contrast right so uh there's the other option is blue i would have loved to have i don't know a a, a, a light color to contrast it with the red uh, but the other option the last option here is a black and silver convertible hood now i fail to see the difference on the screen between black and as well as black and silver but it looks a bit like black and silver looks a bit like a gray shade but i suspect if you see this in person it may be a it may you may be able to see like the intermesh of black and 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 silver color traits so i think i'm going to go with this one okay and uh your and the selection of wheels there are five choices here 21 inch light spoke mm, i much prefer you know something other than black for the wheel colors to be frank so this one here is a multi-spoke i would have actually preferred five double spoke with a lighter color right uh this is this is this black this is multi-spoke two-tone or this is multi-spoke forged wheel shadow chrome right or this is uh normal silver now this one doesn't look that attractive so i will go with shadow chrome uh yeah it's not full out black but it's uh it's it has a nice subtle aggression to it now brakes you can choose the various colors of the caliper and uh there's there's gray there's there's black there's red if you if i want to to match it with the color of the paint, the body but i think i would go with uh with bronze right it's a nice contrast with the with the body paint and well break this only one choice no need to customize that tail lights i don't usually prefer smoke tail lights but in this case i will i will have it smoke because it will it, it nicely contrasts the red all right so that's the that's the tail light color now the interior there are three different interior teams that you can choose right there's create which uh, which focuses your selection to 10 colors in a smooth roll leather all right you can you can also uh you can also decide whether you want your interior in mono or duo tone i i prefer duo tone to be frank gives uh gives the the design a bit more depth you can have accelerate which is of course the sportier selection or you can have inspire which gives you a choice of up to 38 colors in our semi and lin leather so i would take inspire inspire you get a choice of monotone duo tone and light duo tone right so i will go with light duo tone which gives me more options right and uh primary color i will leave it in black but it is the secondary color where i will play around a bit and let's see now what about how does chancellor rate look hmm how about light or gentle metallic bitter chocolate perhaps hmm what about copper tan metallic or 
Actually, I think I like the black and brown combination the most. There's also Oxford tan, but this one looks a bit more orangey. So I'm going back with copper tan metallic. Okay, and the next up will be the stitching. You can have to choose to match to weld, or you can have it contrast. So I'm going to have a contrast color. And uh, let's see, I want to contrast it, only slightly contrast against the brown okay so let's try red oxide there you go all right so or what about what about chancellor red chancellor red hmm i think i like this one i like how the aston martin badge stands out ever so gently in this color so chancellor red it is seat belt now, just to show you in black color, ivory. The ivory, just to show you how, how significantly it contrasts. But I, I don't think I'll choose this because I don't want too many different colors in the interior. So, I will go with red. Alright, just to have a contrast, but not too many different mix of colors. Okay, so the carpet. Now, uh, the carpet, you need to... This, is, this one, you need to look in look in the back you to get to get a, a better appreciation right so i will choose sandstorm just to illustrate and you can see pay attention now you see here at the side this is the carpeting color goes all the way up here as well along the center tunnel so um that well definitely i wouldn't go for this I, what i would pick perhaps is oxford tan that would match back the secondary color of the of the seats that I chose earlier and uh, I shall go to steering wheel the sports wheel this shape is too irregular for my liking so I'll forego that I'll go with the a more conventional GT wheel instead ah come here give it a bit more understated look now the gear pedals you can opt to have it in carbon fiber and I'll forego that because it's nicer to have metal, right? Okay, so trim inlays, the standard is a piano black option. Carbon fiber, no. Chopped carbon fiber, no. Open pore wood, yes. Open pore wood, I think now, uh, my current taste, open pore wood gives the interior a more classy feel. So I'll go with that, okay? Uh, seat back veneers, only one option. Don't have to look any further with this interior jewelry so you have satin silver no carbon fiber satin dark chrome so it darkens the the all the all the all the uh, silver trim okay i think i like this all right it gives the interior a bit more uh it gives the dashboard a, a, a bit of a more sporty touch, I would say. All right, so the exhaust, um, okay, so exterior, you have chrome badges and script or black chrome. So uh, I, I, I will go for chrome badging. I will go for the titanium exhaust with bright finishes, all right, just to have the contrast. And uh, you can see the interior. Well, seat ventilation must have last 16 way adjustable seats. For audio, I'm not much of an audio guy, but uh, I would take the Bang and Olufsen audio anyways, because since I'm buying an Aston Martin, I want to spec. You know, th this is the kind of enhancement that, you know, it's only natural to spec it. Camera system, definitely. First aid kit, no harm having. Umbrella for sure. Right, I mean, I can't be using some free cheapskate umbrella if I turn up in an Aston, right? So, uh, a heavy pile floor mat. Now, what is a heavy pile floor mat? Floor mats fitted to the foot wells featuring leather edge binding. Now, I think I'll forego that. Um, so, we have a four-piece leather luggage set. Carbon fiber engine cover, carbon fiber trade plates, but personalized seal plate, yes. Appearance pack, um, no. Standard boot mat, all weather floor mat, all weather boot mat. Battery conditioner, definitely a must have. Um, 
protect pack tire cushions this is a thoughtful feature because if you regularly park your if you, if you are not if this is not going to be a regularly driven car the tire cushion is something that will help prevent flat spotting of your tire so definitely a very thoughtful feature to include for a car at this uh, this price point uh car covers is not something that you that you need all right, uh, I, think, I think I think a car should the best place to park your car should be in a under a shade, but fully ventilated so that you don't trap moisture in the car, and that would that would lead to you know growth of fungus and all that, and you don't want that. All right, convenience. Uh, yes, the touring pack. It sounds like yeah, it sounds like something I would have. Smokers pack, no. Deep wheel accessories are not something we need in our weather, so we shall forego this. And uh, we shall we shall take 24 months extended warranty. Okay, so uh, these are the then you will list down all the specs here. Okay, together with the standard features in which you can see here, we have a quad cam 48 watt 5.2 by turbo. Uh, that makes 715 horsepower, 900 newton meters of torque, 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 3.6 seconds. Okay, so transmission, 8 speed ZF automatic, electric power steering, front double wishbones, rear multi link, tires 265 fronts, and 305 30 21 rears. So we got electric parking brake and all the driver assist features here. This is the standard spec, sports plus seats, keyless entry, automatic temperature control, in-car entertainment, volante roof, K4 roof system, 14 seconds to open, 16 seconds to close. Okay, so after all this is done, all right, you can you can then choose to submit this and the local Aston Martin dealer will give you a call uh and and give you perhaps give you an estimated price on you know on on how much this will cost you can also choose to have the a personalized brochure email or down or, or which you can download and finally of course you can you can you can share the configuration link okay you can co copy this link out so that you can share it with your friends or or post it on social media i am going to take this and I'm going to post it in the description section of my of the video below for you guys to have a look okay so uh, that's it for today's video thanks guys head over to configurator.astonmartin.com try and specify your own Aston Martin and see you know what what uh, where your imagination takes you I mean since we are all staying home for this for this lockdown this pandemic right this is something that you can do to pass the time or in between all your online meetings and whatever, not just as a, a welcome distraction amidst the current current situation. Okay, so uh, anyways, guys, that's all I have to say for now. Take care at home, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video. Yes, yes, okay, okay, come, come. You want Aston Martin? Yeah. You want Aston Martin? Okay, yeah. okay, okay. You want Aston Martin, huh? Aston Martin. Artificial Intelligence Skin